Hi guys, today I'll be showing you one of the best alternative apps to Alfred. It's called Command here. So if you know Alfred or Spotlight Search, this app Command here is very similar. But what differentiates between this app and Alfred or Spotlight Search is that Alfred or Spotlight Search focuses on a more general typing commands. Example, type in Alfred, let's say shut down like that. So you have to type it all the time or you want to find any app, let's say Safari like that. And you click enter, it will go to Safari. Similar to Spotlight Search, you want to search for anything, let's say Siri like that. It will go to Siri, you want to go to Microsoft Word, type Word, it will go to Microsoft Word. So you have to type all the time. It focuses mainly on typing commands. Well, command app here, it focuses more on specific commands through keyboard shortcuts to access certain apps or websites. So any app or website that you use almost every time you turn on your Mac, command app is the best option for you. Because all you have to do to run your favorite app is just to press on keyboard shortcuts that you have assigned to a particular app or website. And then that app or website will be opened promptly. Let me show you what I mean here. So this is command app. It looks simple. I mean, to most people, it may look like useless. But let me tell you the secret of this app. At first, I find it difficult to use as well. But if you go to its setting, so what you can do is you can add websites, any website here, or even launch the app. So if you're using the free version, you can only add five websites and five applications. If you upgrade it, it costs only $3. You can add as many as you want to. So let me show you with the website first. So let's say I want to add a website here. You can type your own website, but this is the recommended website. Let's say I want to type YouTube here. So I add YouTube. Or you can just add it here, it's up to you. And then the key, for the key here, if you add, let's say, YouTube, you may type like you, like this. You just add it like that. And when you search it here, you just type you, let's say. It will show YouTube, that's the key. But that's not the most attractive feature of this app. We're focusing on command here. That attracts me the most. So command here is the shortcut keyboard. So make sure that when you add this shortcut, it's not the shortcut that is overlapped with the default shortcuts on your Mac computer. So what I do is I use the control keyboard to plus the number so that my shortcut won't be overlapped with other keyboard shortcuts. So let's say I click command number one. But if I click it again, See, now it activates YouTube, but in the form of search bar. Let me do it again. See, and what is good about this? The cool thing about this is right now you are on YouTube. You don't have to go to YouTube website, but you can access it from here. You can search anything. Let's say I search for a song called Shape of You. I click enter. If you go directly to YouTube and search that song for me. As you can see, now it search in here, it says Shape of You, and it shows you the list of any Shape of You songs. It's really cool. Same thing if you add, let's say, Amazon. So go to add again, just put Amazon.com here. The key, just put AM, and then you can see, uh, I don't know why the shortcut key it doesn't show like black color so that you can see it. It show white, that's why you don't see it. This is the command plus number one. This one I put command number two. So I click command number two. If I click command number two again, now it activate Amazon for me to search. I say I search a product called SanDisk SSD. Click enter. If we go to Amazon website and it search it for me, you see? It's really cool. So with this, you don't have to go to Safari, type in Amazon.com and then search. You just do this and search for anything on Amazon you wanna buy. Same thing with launch app. This is even more awesome. This feature only exists on Windows computer. Like if you click on Windows keyboard plus E, it will go to Windows Explorer. But on Mac, you cannot use shortcut keys like that to access your finder. But with the help of this command app, you can do that on Mac now. If I click add, you can even go to certain folder. Let's say I go to my download folder, click here, click open. And then key is, I just put find and the command, I put control number three. Done, if I click control number three, see, it open my downloads folder. In fact, it's the finder. Now you can open finder just by only clicking command plus number three or any keyboard shortcuts you want to so it's really awesome you see now you can access finders by using just keyboard shortcut 
let me show you with the app as well let's say the app that I like using is Final Cut Pro click open for the key I put final and then the command I click on this and then I put command number four now if we click on command number four see it's opening Final Cut Pro so the app I mostly use is Final Cut Pro and one more app is Photoshop let's add one more now I click on Photoshop click open for Photoshop key I put photo and then for the command I click on command number five if I click on command number five again now my Photoshop is opening see it's really cool being able to just only use shortcut to be able to open applications it's really amazing currently you can only open five websites and five applications but if you want to use more you can add as many as you want to just go to upgrade and purchase it it's very cheap only three dollars and then you can add unlimited websites and applications it's really awesome with this app okay that's it guys thank you so much for watching if you like the video please give us a thumbs up comment down below and subscribe for more useful videos in the future have a great day guys see you in the next video